Hello guys, so today's video I want to dedicate to certain job occupation in Canada under the code 2131. Before I start explaining this, I would really like to thank uh, to people who subscribed to my channel, who shared or liked uh, my videos. I would also encourage you to subscribe to my channel, share and like the future videos. It means a lot, uh, it means a lot to me and uh, it uh, motivates me to continue record these videos. Uh, I will start by explaining uh, what is the code 2131 and what are the titles under this code, I mean job titles. So the code 2131 is the code for civil engineering in Canada and under this uh, code we have uh, different job titles such as bridge engineer, construction engineer, construction project engineer, environmental engineer, traffic engineer, etc. I will post the link under this video where you can find out everything about this occupation in Canada. Next, I want to discuss some of the main duties that uh, uh, you have to perform as a, in the, under this occupation. So that would be to confer with clients and other team members of the engineer uh, and other team members and conduct research to determine the project requirements, plan and design major civil projects such as roads, dams, bridges, water and waste management systems and uh, structural steel fabrications, develop construction specification and procedures, evaluate and recommend appropriate building and construction materials, etc, etc. This part where it's written on the site main duties is very useful when you are writing a resume because you can understand what skills do employers in Canada need from you. So you can uh, think about your past experience and put it in a really nice and appealing um, resume. If you need any assistance with writing a resume, please do not hesitate to contact me on the email that I will leave below this video, also on some of my other social media channels. Okay, so now I want to uh, tell you something about uh, requirements uh, if you want to become a civil engineer in Canada. So the first requirement which is required is for you to finish your bachelor degree with a major in civil engineering or in a related discipline. That means you need to have bachelor degree. For master and doctor degree, uh, it is required for some job postings, but usually what I've noticed, it is required for like supervisory position or management or management position. Next thing that you need, you need to become professional engineer in Canada. That means that you have to be licensed in that province or territory. So each province has its own set of requirements that you need to accomplish or fulfill in order to become professional engineer in that territory. Uh, the common thing that they have when you, you know, for this um, requirements to become professional engineer is your proof of English language. You need to prove to them that you are capable of speaking English at certain level and usually they require IELTS with the band of seven in all the sections. So this is going to be a requirement. Please, please, please do not go into this process if you do not have a good command of English. Because, uh, for example, if a client comes to me and I set up him a, an interview with a potential employer and then he doesn't know how to speak or doesn't know what the interviewee asks him, that's, a pro that's going to be a problem. So you need English to pass the interview and later on you need English, you know, to settle in Canada. So don't go in this process unless, you know, you don't have a good command of English. I had plenty of clients that I said no to and I told them, please go, uh, please take English conversa conversational English lessons with me first and then we can go into this process. So these are some of the things that I wanted to discuss uh, in this uh, interview. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's, uh, let's conclude. So category 2131 is a skill category A. It is for 
civil engineering positions. Some of them I said are environmental engineer, uh, traffic engineer, construction, structural engineer, etc. etc. Requirements are you need to have bachelor degree and you need to be licensed. You need to, uh, you know, get this license to be able to become, you know, engineer in Canada. And also the main duties I already uh, stated and I would like you to go through them so you can uh, use them to understand what skill set you need to have in order to become, uh, you know, uh, engineer, uh, civil engineer in Canada. If you need any information, please do not hesitate to contact me on the email I left, you know, below this video or any of my social media channels. Thank you for your time and uh, thank you for your time to watch this video and I'm, I'm really grateful for all the subscribers. Bye!